After more than 50 deadly fires, including this one earlier this month on the East Beltway, Chrysler is finally recalling hundreds of thousands of its SUVs. The government says a problem with how it's designed is causing these fires. New tonight, Eyewitness News reporter Katie Bacall is live with the story of one family for whom this recall is coming a little too late. Katie? Gina, a very sad story for this family. The government has been investigating these fiery crashes involving some of the Jeep models since 2010, but tonight Chrysler is still insisting that all of its vehicles are perfectly safe. The horrific fire captured on this dashboard camera video is something Jose Martinez will never forget. On June 4th, Martinez drove his taxi to the scene where his father-in-law, Omar De La Rosa, was in a rear-end collision. De La Rosa had been driving a 1993 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo that Martinez had purchased. I saw my Jeep uh, engulfed in flames. He was already on the grass. De La Rosa died. He was 62 and had just retired. He was getting his uh, retirement checks from the government. I think he only got about four or five of those checks. Martinez wants some answers from Chrysler. They're just like any other corporation, you know, uh, they only care about money. Earlier this month, the government had asked Chrysler to recall all Jeep Grand Cherokees from 1993 through 2004 and all Jeep Liberties from 2002 through 2007. Chrysler refused but has now agreed to replace or install some trailer hitches on some of the vehicles in question. 1.2 million Grand Cherokees will be covered in what it calls a customer service action and 1.56 million Grand Cherokee and Liberty SUVs by a safety recall. Chrysler says all of this is voluntary and there is no defect in any of the vehicles. Martinez has a hard time believing that and intends to sue Chrysler for his stepfather's death. You know, I think it's all about money or embarrassment. They don't want the big corporation to say, oh, look, we just made a bad product. Now, Chrysler says all of its customers that are affected by this recall will be contacted directly by the company, but we posted all of the information for you on our website at abc13.com. I'm told that all of the work will be performed free of charge. We're live along the Beltway. Katie McCall, 13 Eyewitness News.